This video shows how to teach the new FT25C Generation 2. So it behaves similar to the original one, which had medium resolution. And the new feature is you can have um, finer resolution or a wider resolution. And you teach it for whatever resolution you want. The big advantage with this improvement is you no longer have to teach the desired color and a close color. You can do all of the teaching only on the desired color. And the different resolutions come into play because say you have a label without a registration mark and you want to zoom in on a unique feature uh, as the registration mark. For that, you tend to have a, a need for a higher precision. On the other end, uh, if the, there's movement or fluttering, then you can use the rough setting uh, so that the output remains stable. So for review, you program most of our sensors the same way in two steps. Step one, you press and hold the teach button for more than three seconds until the lights flash alternately, green, yellow, green, yellow. And then the second step is you tap the button. The middle row of this table shows medium resolution, which was the same as the original sensor. So now you can see if you hold the teach button in step one for six seconds, that's going to be a more precise, a higher resolution. Um, and then if you hold it for even longer, past 10 seconds, then you get a rough, a wider sensitivity. Next, we'll show a real world example of a basic teach. So we've got this color swatch from a paint store. We'll put it on one target, press and hold the teach button for more than three seconds. You'll see the yellow light come on. The second step, tap it, and now watch the light spot. It's flashing green, it's learning that second color. And now we try it. You can see that the sensor picked up not only the taut color, but the two adjacent shades of pink, and that it did not pick up other colors, the blue and the yellow. Also, this is obviously a swatch from a paint store, but in real life, you, know, you would use this as a, on a registration mark on a package or a label. Next, we'll teach fine resolution for six seconds. You press and hold the teach button for more than six seconds. Here we're at the three second mark. We'll keep holding it until the lights flash differently. There we go. Now we'll tap it and watch the light spot. It's green flashing, it's learning that color. Now the adjacent shades of pink will no longer be picked up by the sensor. Only the taut shade of pink and still not the other colors, not the blue, not the yellow. Finally, we'll show teaching rough resolution, where you press and hold for 10 seconds. Here we press and hold. We're at the three second mark. We keep holding. We're at the six second mark. We keep holding until the lights flash differently. There we go. Now we tap it and let it learn that color. You can see the light spot flashing green. And now we test it. And you can see it picks up other broader shades of the pink, but it still won't pick up different colors. It won't pick up the blue or the yellow. So this new sensor has a broader range of applications because you can adjust the sensitivity. And it's got some other features. Uh, one thing to note, it's available in two different versions, two different part numbers. One is 2.5 kilohertz, and the other is 10 kilohertz.